It looks like you're raring to go, but before you take a seat, can you just pop off your trousers and your underwear? Just leave them on the side there. Take a seat here, and um, you'll find that it reclines slightly. If you just put your legs up there on the table, then there's a lever at the side, which will just help you recline as much as you want to. Okay, so make yourself comfortable. Uh, you're warm enough in here. Mm -hmm. Now, how long's it been since we had our consultation? Yeah, a couple of weeks. And have you experienced any more pain since then? Or any at all? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so no pain, just the little lump that you felt before. Okay, so we're going to remove that later today, okay? So, it's, as you know, a very minor surgery, a very common one, and you won't really know anything about it at all, other than a pair of sore balls for a couple of days afterwards, but uh, nothing too drastic. Now, I know you're also worried about... Uh, a sporting injury? And it just hurt at the time, didn't it? Yeah. You want me to have a little check beforehand? Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. Yes, well, as your surgeon, I'm your urologist, but I can also um, act as a sonographer, so I'll do a little ultrasound examination with you and also have a little check, check around myself, see what's, if anything's changed down there. I don't think, it, I think it'll be fine though. And, um, yes. Okay, I'll make sure you're happy with that. And then before you go into surgery, you'll, you'll meet with my colleague and she's going to just clean you up because I'll be using some gel on you. She'll clean you up, uh, give you a little haircut down there and then um, put you to sleep and wheel you in. How does that sound? Yeah. Good. Okay. And you had your injection of antibiotics okay? Good. Mm-hmm. You know, the cysts are very common, these epididymal cysts. They just fill with fluid over time, as we discussed at the consultation. And um, I should happy that you're check that you're happy to go ahead with this surgery though, because obviously it wasn't compulsory that you had it. There are other alternatives. We could just put you under observation for a while. Or we could uh, drain, uh, drain the, uh, the cyst. That's also a, a common thing to do. Yes, aspiration with a needle. Yes, well, that was the trouble, but you know, the fluid could then reaccumulate and it is quite common for it to do so. So I think we just wanted to get it taken out, right? Yeah, I think that's a sensible thing to do, but it, it is your decision, it's your body. So you have to make sure that you're comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yes, we'll be closing the uh, closing the wound there with dissolvable stitches. So, mm -hmm. well, they're the most comfortable kind. You know, they'll sort of disappear after two or three weeks anyway. So, yeah, that's right. If you just pull that out of the way there with your hand, if you don't mind, and then if you want to, you can cover that with a, a towel or not. There's a selection just there. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just as we did at the consultation. We'll provide you with the support to wear after the surgery, just for the first few days. If you don't want everything swinging about, jostling. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, so I'm just going to um, just do a little examination with my hands first of all, just to check that nothing's, nothing's changed and to put your mind at rest about that sports injury. Um, I, I think if it was something serious, you'd really know about it by now and the pain would have continued. But uh, yeah. Okay, you're comfortable. Okay. That's right. Okay, I'm just going to lift there. It's okay. And just very, very gently, I'm going to squeeze around each side, okay? Okay, just come into the right side there. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Yes, you should check sort of once every month, really, uh, especially if you're between 14 to 40, 45 years old and you're, you're kind of in the middle there, so. Yeah, so I'm just checking for just very smooth contours that it should be. That's right. Okay. That's right. I'm just going to roll that around a little. Check. Side. Oh no, no, they're a fine looking pair. Don't worry about that. The last person I had in it was like two Jeremy Corbyn staring back at me. So. Yeah, you do see them all, but this is, this is a, a friendly pair of balls, as my friend Isabel often calls them. Yeah. Yeah, so you do meet up for a chit-chat here and there, and sort of say to her, what were they like on this guy, what were they like on that guy? And I say, she always says, oh, he had a friendly pair of balls, or, which means they were quite, you know, attractive, aesthetically pleasing, and then there's the Jeremy Corbyns, the other kind, a bit scratty. Gently manipulate there. Okay, and I'm just going to go to the other side now. Okay, just have a little feel. Okay, I'm just going to gently, gently roll that. And just with my thumb and my forefinger, just check up there. That's it, okay. And just rolling that around very gently. Does that feel okay? Because everything is very, everything feels very fine and very smooth there. Okay. So. Okay, and just under there, all the way around. Let me know if you feel any tenderness or if you're conscious of anything else. Okay. It's very, very gentle there. Okay. No, everything feels completely in order there. So I don't think you've sustained any other injuries, especially if you didn't uh, feel any pain. So that's fine. Okay, and now we'll do the ultrasound examination, okay? So I'm just gonna put some gloves on so we use some, some gel. be using a lubricated transducer in this and um, yes the gel's quite cool so don't be shocked when it goes on cool but then it's actually quite relaxing because it's quite soothing against the skin. Okay, so using that. Just move your legs a little bit there. Okay, that's it. Just put them up. Put your knees up there. Okay. There we are. Just make sure that that is all in place. Okay, I'm just going to apply some first to you and then to the transducer itself because it's good to just keep that slip there so that when we're working with it, it doesn't pull on the skin at all, okay? I just want to make sure that it goes on all over that area. Okay, that wasn't too cold, I hope. That's it, I'm just smoothing it over the skin. That's it. Just to make sure that everything will be nice and slippery for the transducer. Okay, I'm just going to sweep under.
Okay. It's warming, taking the opportunity to warm this up a little. This instrument. Okay. Just lie back and I'll be monitoring on the screen what I need to see. Okay. There we are. Okay. Sometimes I'll move it along, sometimes I'll be holding it in place. There we are. Okay. Sticking that under and over. Coming to this side. Okay, that looks all right. Okay, and coming to the other side there. slide it a little bit, okay. That's right, that's better. Okay, yeah. That's no change since the last consultation. And that's actually going to be an ideal angle for me to get at, and that'll be a very simple removal there. Okay, that's good. Does that feel okay? Yeah. That's great. Really good. I just need to hold it there so it can pick up the imaging. Yeah, as I say, there will be some swelling and bruising just for several days, but nothing too much. Yes, there are some other after effects and risks, let me just check that you know them, and then you'll be asked to sign off on them later on when you, when you see my colleague. Okay, so there could be a recurrence of the cyst. These are all very unlikely scenarios, by the way. There could be a hematoma, which resolves slowly, or may require surgical drainage. There could be an infection requiring draining or antibiotics. could be chronic pain. There could be some scarring of the epididymis, which requires, which could result in impaired fertility. So I know we spoke about that at the consultation. You know that it's uh, extremely rare, but it's a possibility, okay? So obviously it's very unlikely those things will occur, but we have to let you know. It's going to be okay. But, all good news with the imaging, nothing has changed since the consultation. And as I say, I don't think that injury you sustained has done you any harm at all. So, all, all, all good news, because that means we can just get you on in there, get the surgery done and over with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, she'll run, she'll run through that with you. Yes, painkillers should manage all that kind of discomfort. Yeah, that's fine. Recommend paracetamol, actually. That would be, that would be good. This kind of surgery. Uh, but you can discuss any kind of return to work. Uh, we'll review that afterwards at your kind of uh, post-surgery consultation, okay? We'll set up a review with you in uh, probably three weeks' time. Yeah. You can keep in touch with the department, of course. Mm -hmm. Gemma will be the point of contact for you in future uh, for your aftercare, but I'll give you a ring myself personally just to check that everything's going well. Yeah. Yes, you want to avoid any kind of heavy lifting, uh, any strenuous exercise for four weeks or so, probably given a month really, or longer. I know you're a very sporty, athletic person, you want to get out there again and get active, but it's really important that you give yourself this time to convalesce and heal and not go over the top, otherwise it's just going to extend or exacerbate 
um, any wounds or, or you know the injury itself. So, yeah. Yes, well, as we said, I think it's totally harmless, but we will send the cyst off to our laboratories uh, just to be analysed and make sure that everything's A-OK. -okay. Mm -hmm. well, I'm very happy with that. I'm happy to go ahead with the surgery. So uh, the anaesthetist, Gemma, she'll be through in a moment. Uh, she'll clean off the gel. She'll remove any hair um, that we need to get removed and anaesthetise you, and uh, I'm sure she'll put any other concerns you've got to bed. So, um, I will see you when you're all zonked out and out for the count, and um, I'll probably, uh, either Gemma and I will come and check on you afterwards, of course. But I'm sure everything will go absolutely swimmingly, and yeah. Well, well done, you know. I think it's always best to err on, on the side of caution, come in and get checked whenever you're Whenever you sense the slightest change, that's why it's important to check yourself every month. Uh, you know, come in whenever you're uncertain. It, do, it does no harm at all, you know, because it's always good to detect anything at all early and not just wait and, you know, worry about it. So always, always, always uh, do what you did, which is uh, come in and get things checked over. Then we can take the best course of action for you, but it's all good, so very well. Okay, so you can cover yourself if you want to while you're waiting for Gemma to arrive and uh, see you in surgery. Okay, my name is Gemma. Gemma Harding, how do you do? Very well, thank you. How did it go with Dr. Brewer? Yeah, he's excellent, isn't he? Good. Yes, I'm his chief anaesthetician. So I'm here to put you to sleep without wanting that to sound too drastic. And before that, I've just got a few other things to go through with you. I've got to take some questions and um, also hear some questions from you if you've got any. We can go through any concerns and make sure that they're all addressed. And I've got to clean you up a bit because the doctor's left gel all over you. So we'll clean off the gel, shave you and make sure you're all prepped for surgery and that you're feeling confident about going in there. So there's really not much to worry about at all. There are a few very minor risks with any surgery and I'll run through them all with you before we commence the proceedings. And yeah. You're feeling quite relaxed, are you? Yeah, Dr. Brewer is very good at putting, putting one's mind at ease and he really knows his stuff, really knows what he's doing. And we carry out these procedures many times many times a day, so it's, um, you're in very, very safe hands here. Yeah. Where have you come in from? Okay, not too far away. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm just going to wash my hands. Oh, really? Okay, so you're quite experienced with surgery. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the, the cons, isn't it, when you're quite leading quite an athletic life and sports, it's just injuries and things like that, yeah. Yeah, I totally understand. Okay, so let's clean off that gel for you. First, I'm going to go in with a couple of dry tissues, just to wipe it off. And then I'm going to use a wet cloth just to pick up any extra residue that might be there, okay? Yeah. Okay. There we are. Okay, can you just help me and just lift up there? That's right, I'm just going to come in underneath. There we are. Just wipe. There we are, wiping from under. And just coming around to the top there and wiping over. Okay. 
Okay. Just making sure that we get everything there. And just wiping down, 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 down. There we are. Okay. Great. Now I'm just going to take a cloth and run it under the water here. Okay. Be nice warm water. Don't worry. Okay. Just wringing out the flannel. Okay. This will just make sure we get all of it up. Okay. And there we are, just going underneath again. I'm just going to run that over and round and underneath. And just smoothing along the top. There we are. And over. And all around and underneath again. There we are. And up and round. Okay, there we are. That's much better. Okay, and where's my towel? I've got a towel somewhere. Oh, there it is, a fresh one. Okay, now I'm just going to pat you because you have to be thoroughly dry before we shave you, okay? It has to be bone dry down there. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to pat, 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 pat. There we are. Okay, I'm just going to lift up there. Make sure that we get them. There we are. All those parts. Okay, just taking it all in my hand there. Just ever so gently patting to make sure that everything there is nice and dry. Is that okay? Okay, if at any time you get uncomfortable or for any reason at all you want me to stop, just say, okay? I want to make sure you feel comfortable at all times. Okay, so that's that part done and now I'm going to shave you. And I just want to reassure you that I do appreciate how delicate that part of the male anatomy is. So. Please do not worry at all. I know everyone worries about getting little nicks or little um, cuts and grazes here and there, but I'm completely expert. I've done it a million times and I'm also extremely careful. And this shaver is particularly designed with a guard in place so that no nicking of the skin will go on. Okay, so it's just going to be removing the hair and you'll just feel soft vibrations. That's all while I'm, while I'm moving you about. Okay, so. Oh, there's no need to apologise. Some people shave, some people don't. You know, trends come and go, so it's absolutely fine. Yeah. Well, I get everything removed by laser, so everything from the neck down is, you know, bald as a balloon. So it's fine for me, but I understand it's, you know, different for different people. Yeah, but really it's... um. It's no problem whatsoever, so I'm actually going to lift you here and just um, start underneath, okay? Start with the testes and then move up to around the top. Is that okay? Okay. There we are, just relax now. Okay, and taking lots of care to be extremely careful. Very carefully, just defuzzing you. Going round from one side to the other. Just slowly shaving right underneath. There we are, moving round to the other side there. You can just open your legs a little bit wider there, so I can get right there. There we are, that's better to the side. Yeah, can you just hold it out the way for a little while? That's better. 
Okay. That's right. Okay, does that, feels okay? See, nothing to worry. Yeah, I told you, <laughs> it's quite pleasurable really. That's what I've been told, so, okay. Now I'm just gonna come around the top now, okay? The foliage, yeah. Okay, and there we go, just working down from the navel. There we are. Okay, 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 okay. There we are. Okay, and just shaving down, 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 towards. And I'm just going to use another, <laughs> another strange device. It does look a little bit like a, a, a vacuum cleaner, but <laughs> which it is, but um, yeah, it's just, please don't be afraid. I'm not gonna suck your bits away or anything. It's just a very gentle suction that's going to suck away all the hair and just clean you up, okay? So I just want to. and just a little bit more shaving to do there. There we are. Nearly done now. Okay, that's perfect. Just a little more suction. I know, it's like when you go to the barbers, isn't it? And they just do a little bit of dusting around the neck. It's just to make sure everything's nice and clear. Okay. You okay? Good. Okay, and I just got a little bit of moisturizer here. Yeah, because after shaving the skin can get a bit dry, so I'm just going to apply that all around the area. Is that okay? Okay. I'm just going to go in with both hands and just smooth over. Okay. Start just underneath. Smoothing over the skin. Making sure that we leave that nice and moisturised and supple. Okay, now going over the top where I've shaved, just smoothing along and down. Oh, don't worry, that's normal. Yeah, okay. Just smoothing it down there. There we are now. Does that feel a lot more, more supple now, does it, Neil? Okay. Yeah, oh well. You're only human. That's right. Plenty of time for that to settle down. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's all right. Let me just cover you there now. Okay. Yes, it will be, yeah. Okay, let's do 
Gut, für Oh, that's just um, a little a little brush attachment to, to the section thing. It just brushes away any more excess. I think we got it with the tissue. Yeah, we can. Okay, we can. Yeah, put put it up again then. Yep. Like, yeah, I'm happy to brush that away. Okay. Shall I move? Shall I lift that? Okay. Yeah, I just. Well, I think uh, the moisturizers absorbed now, so that's okay. Okay, is that better? That feels more tidy now, okay. Do you have a regular prescription for a blood thinning agent? Aspirin? Clopidogrel? Riveroxaban? Dibigatran? Excellent. That's good. Uh, what about, do you have a present or previous MRSA infection? And I presume no symptoms of coronavirus, including fever. Okay. A high risk variant CJD. And if you had a corneal transplant. Any human growth hormone treatment. Neurosurgical dural transplant. Are you a smoker? How many years ago? Ah, oh, well done. <laughs> yeah. And after surgery, do you have someone to take you home? Okay, they're driving, are they? Do we have their number on record? Let me just take a note of that again, please. Thank you. Yeah, we'll provide you with some stockings after, after the surgery, okay? They're the TED stockings. Yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Just a little small injection first of all, hand. It's a heparin injection. It's just going to thin your blood a little um, to help blood clots from forming. Yeah, we don't want them developing and uh, sort of passing on down to your lungs. So. Yeah, we can decide later on any further course of action when it comes to that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do that now, actually. Just lean forward. Okay. Okay, just give me your arm there. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you're not afraid of a little needle, are you? Big boy like you. No, I don't. Okay. 
maybe. That's okay, just turn that way a little bit more. Okay. So if you just hold still, okay? And you'll just feel a little scratch and then it'll be over, okay? That's it, just breathe in. There we are. Yeah, I'm just going to apply a tiny little sticking plaster over there. There we are. Make sure that it's safe during your surgery. Okay, well done. Do you have any allergies, by the way? I know you would have been through this in your consultation, but I just need to know from the... Uh, Anaesthetist point of view. You said you don't smoke anymore. Do you drink alcohol much? How much? It's all right, I'm not one to judge. Okay, when was the last time? Okay, and did you follow all our guidelines for eating and drinking this morning before surgery or not doing that? Taking any other medicine? And what's that? Okay. You unsure about any other part of the procedure? Yeah, well. I think so, yeah. Yeah, because you followed those guidelines, so that'd be fine. Yeah, with a cannula to the back of the hand, so you won't feel much and you're going to drift off to sleep within a minute, okay? It's usually 10 or 20 seconds, so don't worry. The next thing you'll know, I'll be waking you up in the restroom, okay? You'll be coming round and we'll be over. No, there won't be much pain because during the, um, during the procedure, I'll be sitting next to you and monitoring, uh, obviously, the anaesthetic, but also be introducing some painkillers into your bloodstream. Yeah. No, so you'll be totally comfortable when you've woken up, you know, a little later on into the evening after you've been driven home. Might feel like you've been slightly kneed in the balls, but, <laughs> but it won't be anything drastic, honestly. The, the painkillers will help. And, um, Everything you've been prescribed is going to help you get through that period of convalescence, okay? Yeah. You're unsure? Yeah. No. Do you want me to just... Yeah, let me just show you here. Lift it up. There we are. Okay. So can you see just that? Okay. Yeah. And just right push along here. Just gently push. That's it. I'm just going to gently push there to just show you. Okay. Yeah. And can you see against the groin there? Yeah. The incision will be there. And I expect Dr. Burr probably told you, didn't they? It's going to be dissolvable stitches and they heal so well. So no one will be the, any of the wiser, especially when everything grows back. <laughs> And um, there'll be a minuscule scar for a little while, then it'll fade, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, if I just show you there. Can you see that part? Yeah. Oh, okay, on that bit. Yeah. No, everything looks incredibly healthy there, you know. So there's not gonna be any other issues. I'm sure. Yeah, because I, I can see your ultrasound went very well, your, your scans. It's all good news.
Yeah, it's almost time. Okay. Yep, yeah, so I'm just going to mark here. Do you see them where, where it's marked in yellow highlighter here? If you just check those bits uh, and take as much time as you need actually to read through anything that you want to. Did you have a chance to read over it before you came in, most of this? Yeah, so if you just double check on the bits that I've highlighted and crossed, you just need to sign there just to make sure you're aware of any risks. And okay, so I'm gonna anaesthetize you in a moment. And I just want to double check that you're feeling comfortable, that you're not at all worried about anything, and you understand that it's just a very quick, simple procedure. We've signed, have you? Thank you. That's great. Yeah. No, that's, that's completely normal to feel that way, but don't worry. Yeah, you're in very safe hands. And as I said, I'm going to be with you the whole time, um, checking on you, checking on your progress, and monitoring, mon monitoring you. And I'll be there when you wake up as well. Okay. Um, so I'll make sure you're looked after. Um, yeah, I'll make provision for that. And I know you had a bit of a neck, a sore neck in the, par the past. I was looking through. So I'll make sure that I look after your neck for you. Okay, it won't be jostled about too much or anything. Okay, you'll be, you'll be um, given a nice bolster pil pillow, nice bolster cushion there to make sure. That's for fuck's sake. I know that you've got a bit of a problem with your sore neck. I looked over your medical history, so I've already made provision to make sure that you get a memory foam bolster cushion, so you're getting the luxury treatment to make sure we really look after you. And uh, so your head won't be jostling all over the place. You'll be fine when you're coming in and out of surgery. And so you should be waking up, you know, you'll be a little bit high probably for a while. And then once you're properly starting to come around, then I can get in contact on the phone to the person that's driving you home and you'll probably just be able to sleep it off then for the rest of the evening and into tomorrow, so yeah. And the body's very good at healing itself, it's miraculous what it can do, you know, we think we're the miracle makers, you know, here <laughs> sometimes at the surgery, but really it doesn't compare at all to what the body can do, so that will look after you. So you're sure you're feeling good? Okay. No problem at all. Yeah, my pleasure. My pleasure completely. Okay, let me just make sure the gown's fine. Okay, so I prepared uh, your injection here and I'm just going to inject the back of your hand and you won't know much else after that, okay? I'm gonna inject you, then I'm gonna count down, let's say from 20 and um, I'll be very surprised if, you, if we get to the end of that countdown. But um, as long as you're feeling fine, yeah? Good. Okay, then just give me your hand. Yeah, I'm just gonna put in a cannula there. And again, it'll just be a little scratch. And some people say that the hand goes a, a little warm afterwards, which feels a bit strange, but not if you're expecting it, so. Okay, that's right, okay, just breathe in for me and then breathe out, but nice deep, deep breath in. Good. Okay, 20, 19, 18, 17, that's it, head back there, 16, lay back, lay back, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.